Mr. Speaker, violent intentions in Ukraine are on the rise with increasing violation of the Minsk peace agreements. Unfortunately, the Liberal support for Ukraine is on the decline. Extending our conservative military mission in uh, Ukraine is welcome, but there's more that Canada can offer. The Liberals have already cancelled supplies of radar satellite images. They refused to sign the Defence Cooperation Agreement and have backed down from their campaign promise to implement Magnitsky-styled sanctions on corrupt foreign officials. Will the Liberals stop disappointing our Ukrainian allies and respect their requests for providing lethal defensive weapons? The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, our, our government uh, uh, stands shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine. Um, our military planners uh, and whole government approach, we consult with, with our allies, uh, the UK and, and the US, to making sure that we have the right support. Operation Unifar is just one portion of that. We also, also take a look at the wider uh, uh, support that we've also provided with our uh, support of Opera Assurance, uh, sending troops into Latvia. That sends a strong message to Russia. Our air policing that we'll be doing and the frigate that we have there. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in totality, this sends an extremely strong message to Russia. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.